Hi, I'm Jennifer from the Worcester branch of the Wayne County Public Library, back with another fun and easy nature craft. At this time of year, I just love picking up the leaves that have fallen, because they're so pretty, and then using them to make some leaf print note cards. They're very simple to make, and you can use either a stamp pad or some acrylic paint and a paintbrush to ink the back sides of the leaves so that you pick up the veins and then use them to make a lovely leaf print on some cards that you can use for thank you notes, letters to people, or even if you want to get creative, a little bit of a holiday card. You could also use them to make wrapping paper or to create your own artwork, whether it's something you want to put up on the fridge, put up in a frame, or work into your journal whatever works for you. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is just cover your workspace with, you now this is just a ripped open paper bag. You can use newspaper or some other kind of scrap paper because when you're painting the backs of the leaves, it's going to get a little messy. To make the cards, then you can take one piece of card stock, you cut it in half, and then each half you're just going to fold in half like this to make your cards. You will also need, of course, some leaves, and I've picked up just a sampling of a few. You want to make sure they're small enough that they'll fit on the card. Um, you can always find even smaller ones like I did here and then do a couple of leaves. It's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. You will also need either an ink pad. I've got these very small ink pads that stack that come in some different colors. So I've got gray, green, uh, a gold, and a red. I thought all of those would be nice for fall colors. And then you can also pick up just some basic acrylic paint and a paintbrush. And I just use to, like to recycle a yogurt cup to put my paint into before I paint. Keeps things a lot less messy. All right, so what I'm going to do is just push my cards a bit to the side for right now. So I want some space that's just dedicated for inking the back of the leaves. This will get messy. So I'm going to take one here, and we'll start with doing the ink pad. I'd like to use some green. So I'm just going to press down on it and get it all covered. And you can see, as I'm inking it, that the veins on the back of the leaf are going to stand up really nicely. So you just want to get a fair amount of ink on here, spread it out evenly, and then we'll come over to our card very carefully, take it straight down, and then press it. Don't try and smooth it out with your fingers, just up and down pressing. And then carefully lift it off. So there we have just one leaf print. If you want to use the acrylic paints, we'll just put a little bit in the cup here. And this time I think I'll do an oak leaf. And again, you just cover the back of the leaf surface with paint. If you really get creative, you could do a couple of different colors on the back of the leaf. You know, maybe make it look more like an autumn leaf with some yellow, with some orange, some red, so that Maybe the leaves, the uh, excuse me, the veins are one color and it fades out to a different color at the edges. You know, just get creative. Have fun with it. All right, we're totally covered here. So again, come over to the card. And carefully lift it up. There we go. 
Now you can do these cards just say one leaf or two leaves and just make the leaves the emphasis of the card. Or what I sometimes like to do is a little bit of collage and then you can stamp a leaf over it. So I've started this card and I think I will use this leaf and yeah, let's just go for the green again since I still have some in here. I find this can be a nice, relaxing sort of weekend project. I go out for a nice walk in the morning, come back, and then I can just sit here for maybe half an hour or so and crank out a few different note cards. And I've got a little bit of fall that I can share with my friends through the rest of the year. It's kind of fun. All right, we've got that one covered. Now, since I left a nice big open space here, I'm just going to put this in, but overlap it a little bit with my collage because I want that layered effect. And there we go. So that's really all there is to it. Um, you might want to have a wet paper towel or a wet towel on hand so you can just wipe your fingers dry because you will get some paint on them the more you work. But that's just one fun and easy way that you can keep some of the fall beauty for yourself or your friends or whoever you want to share this with. So I hope you, hope you have fun playing with this and get outside, enjoy some fresh air, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.